Biden has, you know, walked off screen on an Internet town hall that lasted four minutes because he can't talk for more than four minutes, apparently. <laughs> that's the thing that's. Uh, oh, my God. That was amazing. Like um, he just he just wanders off and and they had to put up like a graphic like Joe Biden. <laughs> yeah, it said Joe Biden. Text Joe to three zero three three zero. It said it was like why would you remind us of that? Does he basically? Uh, Someone is he basically... said it reminded them of the uh, itchy and scratchy like. It was. It was yeah, just like, like that. <laughs> is he basically pulling a David Cameron where just as soon as he's finished doing whatever he's doing, he's just like straight away boop. Off, off to the camera. No, the no. Side. It was worse than that. In the middle of what he was talking about, he was talking to the camera on this Facebook live stream that was supposedly a town hall. It was supposed to be longer than four minutes, but they cut it off at four minutes. Um, and he was talking like to the camera like and he was holding a phone and then he must have thought that he was on the phone or something and began to wander in the middle of what he was talking about and wandered off camera and he's still talking like he's all mic'd up so you still hear him talking <laughs> and he walks off camera and and uh they put up a graphic that says biden text joe to 30330 <laughs> and it's like we can't elect this person no has, that's the demand shuffle yeah that's the thing that's like bugging me is the fact that like it's been like it's been quite plain that like major social media sites and Google are basically repressing any sort of negativity or criticism about Biden. Um, so like people are people seeing him as competent is actually something that's being engineered. Um, and like the fact that manufactured one could yeah, say yeah exactly manufactured one could say <laughs> and it's like maybe 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 some kind of consent is being manufactured and it's it's actually dangerous because he clearly like he's showing signs of no someone, he's obviously yeah yeah and that's the thing people are people are saying that like oh it's ableist to say that he has dementia no I'm sorry and it, it's like it's so it's, that pisses me off so much yeah like I hate it so much because it's not ableist it is not ableist to say something that is completely fucking obvious. It's an observation. And we are literally talking about electing the most powerful person in this country, and he can't string together a sentence, yeah. and he can't stay in a single place. He can't do anything. Most like he 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 spoke for seven minutes at a rally. Like he had a rally where they gathered up as many people as they could to listen to him talk, and he spoke for seven minutes. Oh my and God. they stopped him. They had him like the and then the the his media team tells people that he's not. They're trying to minimize the amount of events he's doing in the afternoon. The afternoon. <laughs> Did you see him threaten that auto worker in Detroit? Yes. He said, I don't work for you. And then he told him he was going to meet him outside. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This auto worker was talking to him about the Second Amendment because the auto worker obviously was a gun person. And, you know, whatever your opinion is on that issue, I don't really give a shit. But, like... This guy is campaigning to represent literally every person in the country. And he says to this guy, he goes, well, first off, he says, you want to uh, ban guns. And then Joe Biden goes, you're full of shit, man. <laughs> Oh my god. That was his like literal like immediate response was That's, like to amp it up to that 10. That is his oh response. My god. Whenever anyone confronts him in person with anything even mild, he's like mild, he's like what the fuck, man? And, like, it starts mad. Listen up, fat! Let's just go yeah. fucking do push ups and shit. It's not able to say that I don't want the President of the United States to have dementia. That's like the absolutely lowest bar of all time. And how many like, people minimally. have done that exact same fucking thing about Donald Trump saying, I don't want a president that has dementia, clearly? Oh, yeah. yeah Is it yeah. somehow less ableist when you do it against the other politics team? Yeah, and I'm sorry, but Donald yeah, Trump ridiculous. is more coherent than Joe Biden. Yeah. Like, let's oh, be absolutely. completely honest that's, there. That's my major concern. No Many one, people are no saying. One, no one is saying that having dementia is bad. Is bad. I mean, well, <laughs> it's bad. Of course it's no bad. It's not, saying, saying that it's, demen it's not to say demonize anyone that has dementia. Dementia yeah, yeah, is not yeah. the bad thing. It's just someone it's, with dementia shouldn't be running a country. No, yes. they should be in a home. They should be getting Would looked you, after. Let's say that you're <laughs> physically or mentally impaired to the point where you can't drive a car. Would you elect them to drive a car? Yeah. It, it's the same <laughs> thing as saying it's ableist to say that Prince Philip shouldn't be driving a car That's the anymore. thing. It's to say that Prince Andrew shouldn't be running a girls' school. <laughs> <laughs> Stop with the ableism, guys. That is an ableist statement. He should be running an old girls' school. That's the school. thing, though. My major concern is that, like, 
this isn't i know that we're bernie bros and shit like it's not even about that it's about the fact that this person who cannot string together a sentence without fucking completely going off the rails or sundowning on stage is not going to beat trump no the thing is they've been able to manufacture so much consent around the idea that he's competent and that he's the only one who could beat trump but he's not there's two Mm -mm. things now on the table the fact that joe biden clearly isn't fit to be in the highest seat of power in the world and also the fact that he doesn't have a strong enough healthcare platform to confront the fucking pestilence that has like spread across the land. And what the fuck has he even We're said not- about it? And not only not only that, but in an election against Donald Trump, um, if I, unless I'm being very ignorant, I think the difference between Joe Biden's politics and Donald Trump's politics is a wall. I think there's like nothing else. Yeah. Really, that really divides their two platforms. They're not trying. He's not trying it's to partisan. make any radical change. Yeah, like, it's essentially it's, partisan. Yeah, it's purely like, oh, I, I want, I want the, I want the, blue, I want the blue guy. I don't want the red guy. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Just do the same thing, but maybe not make the, uh, make not make a big deal out of the child camps and make not and tear that silly wall thing you down. Know, we can't have a an elderly racist sexist president so let's elect a racist sexist president but this time he has dementia and that's basically (laughs) he's like it's trump but worse in terms of cognitive yeah exactly he touches he just grabs at babies instead (laughs) well yeah and here's the other thing he was a member of the administration that started these exact programs that people are complaining about like the detention of families at the border that's an obama policy he was the vice president during that era yeah yep the deportation the deportations of children uh, separate from their families, the deportations of parents separate from their children. That stuff started with Obama and Biden, Joseph yeah. Biden. 